हेलो व्यूवर्स वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल जी एन होम ट्यूशन होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग वेल सो टूडे यू हैव कम अगेन फॉर माई आई एस सी स्टूडेंट्स विद स्टोरी आर लिविंग गॉड बाई लेफ्ट डियो हर्न नाउ लेफ्ट डियो हर्न वॉज अ राइटर ही वॉज अ जर्नलिस्ट ऑफ आयरिश क्रिक डिसेंट हु इज बेस्ट नोन फॉर हिज राइटिंग ऑन राइटिंग्स ऑन जपैन नाउ बॉर्न ऑन द ग्रीक आईलैंड ऑफ लेफ्टेडा हर्न immigrated to the united states as a child and then eventually he settled in japan in the year of 1890 he became a naturalized japanese citizen in the year of 1896 and he changed his name to kozumi yakumo now a living god is a story about tsunami what is a tsunami See a tsunami is a series of large ocean waves that is usually caused by a sudden displacement of water which can result in massive coastal flooding which can result in destruction Now tsunamis are typically triggered by events such as underwater earthquakes volcanic eruptions landslides etc So the energy from these events displaces a large volume of water generating waves that can travel vast distances across the ocean at high speeds now when these waves reach shallow coastal areas they can grow in height and cause extensive damage to coastal communities so in this story a living god the tsunami that occurred on june 17 1896 is briefly mentioned just to provide context and background information Now it is described as an enormous tidal wave nearly 200 miles long which struck the northeastern provinces of Miyagi, Iwate and Amori in Japan. This tsunami caused significant destruction, ruining entire districts, wrecking scores of towns and villages and claiming the lives of nearly 30,000 people. But however, The main focus of this particular story is not on this particular tsunami but the story is on the tale of Hamaguchi Gohei the main protagonist of the story and his actions during a different tsunami that happened long before the era of Meiji on another part of the Japanese coast now era of Meiji the Meiji era is an era in Japanese history which extended from the year of 1868 until 1912 in this story we will come across three character number 1 hamaguchi gohei the protagonist of the story we will come across tada hamaguchi's 10 years old grandson and the villagers now hamaguchi gohei is the protagonist of the story he is an old and respected farmer who serves as the headman of his village He is a very wise man he is also a very knowledgeable man he knows about the traditions and history of his community he was a trusted adviser to the other villagers and hamaguchi is also depicted as selfless and and uh, he was willing to sacrifice his own property for the safety of his uh, fellow villagers during the tsunami then we will come across tada he was hamaguchi's 10 year old grandson who was with him at the time of tsunami he was frightened by his grandfather's decision to set fire to the rice stacks and runs back to the house thinking that hamaguchi actually has gone mad the villagers here are described as hard working and they rely on hamaguchi's wisdom and leadership especially when the tsunami strikes they are initially confused and frightened but they quickly come together to help each other and to rebuild their community the story begins with an introduction to the destructive tidal waves or tsunami that hit the sh- the shores of japan at irregular intervals and the main character that is hamaguchi gohei he was an old and influential village headman and he is introduced along with his role in the village so hamaguchi gohei was the Murausa Murausa here means headman of a coastal village 
so like other villagers his principal occupation was cultivation so people also called him oji san oji san which means grandfather of the village now hamaguchi's big house was located at the edge of a hill the placement of his house makes us aware of the important role the old man is going to play in the story now hamaguchi lived in a farm house his farm house stood on the edge of a plateau a very flat open space high up on the side of a mountain now behind his house the mountain stood still higher and full of dense forest in front i mean the front part of the of the farm house where hamaguchi gohi used to live there was a slope now that gently sloped down to the sea so at the foot of the mountain along the shore was the little village made up of uh, a hundred thatched house now on the fateful evening of the story the villagers were preparing to celebrate the annual festival called matsuri now matsuri is a traditional japanese festival that is held in honor of local gods spirits or deities now in this particular village the festival was an important communal event where villagers would gather to enjoy food to enjoy music dancing and other festivities so hamaguchi's family members had also gone to the village to celebrate their harvest by a dance the whole village was decorated with banners and paper lanterns now hamaguchi observed from the balcony of his house the sea acting strangely receding far from the shore which alarms him so hamaguchi was observant and had a keen understanding of the natural world so when the earthquake struck he noticed some unusual signs that led him to believe a tsunami uh, let him to believe that a tsunami was imminent he saw that the tide had suddenly receded exposing the sea floor which was a clear indication of an impending tsunami and then additionally he felt the ground shaking more intensely than a typical earthquake he observed the change in the sea the waves were rising darkening and moving in the opposite direction of the wind and he recollected his father's grandfather's story and became apprehensive of the impending tsunami so tada he was a lad of 10 he was hamaguchi's grandson so hamaguchi immediately called tada and ordered him to bring a burning torch with the help of that burning torch hamaguchi decided to set fire to all his precious rice stacks so hamaguchi gohe aware of the impending tsunami needed to alert the villagers quickly and effectively so he chose to set fire to his rice stacks which were piled high on a hillside so that this unusual act of fire might attract the attention of the villagers and they might rush to put out the fire and save the valuable rice and thus save themselves as well so hamaguchi gohe chose this method because he knew that a traditional warning such as shouting such as ringing bells might not be effective in conveying the urgency of the situation or convincing the villagers to leave the festive festive and and uh, come to that higher ground so he set fire to the rice stacks now the blazing rice stacks created a huge fire the village priest and the villagers could easily see the rising flames in the field the priest understood the message and rang the temple bells the villagers also rushed towards the fields in no time now the confused villagers failed to realize that hamaguchi had sacrificed his rich harvest to save them they felt hamaguchi had turned insane after the attack of tsunami the villagers understood the real meaning of the insane actions of hamaguchi so seeing the fire 
the all the villagers rushed towards hamaguchi's cottage in fact a few of the villagers they tried to douse the fire in the fire stacks but hamaguchi stopped them as the burning stacks were sen- still sending signal about something dangerous and hamaguchi almost lost everything that was precious for a farmer so hamaguchi explains to the villagers that the sea has receded due to an incoming tsunami and they must all climb to the hill top for safety the villagers followed his instruction and they are all saved from the wave that hits the village destroying it completely so 400 lives were saved so the story ends with hamaguchi continuing to live a simple life with his family while his spirit is worshiped in the temple the villagers continue to pray to him for help during times of fear during times of trouble and his memory is revered for generations to come so hamaguchi was elevated to a state of godliness from manliness in the mind of the villagers they regarded him as a living god who risked everything to save the life of the villagers with everything he had now the theme of the story is number 1 self sacrifice see we here see hamaguchi go his act of setting fire to his rice fields while to warn his village of the incoming tsunami so this is an act of self sacrifice he knew that by doing so he would he, he would be losing most of his invested capital but he did it to save the lives of his fellow villagers so this theme is emphasized in the story by the fact that the villagers later worshiped him as a god for his sacrifice the second theme is community the story shows the importance of community in times of crisis when the tsunami strikes the villagers all comes together to help each other and rebuild their homes and hamaguchi's decision to sacrifice his rice stack is also an act of community spirit as he does it to save the lives of the people in the village the, there is another theme that is tradition the story is set in a time when japan was still a feudal society and it highlights the importance of tradition in japanese culture hom hamaguchi gohi is the headman of his village he is respected by the people because he upholds the traditions of the community he advises the farmers he arbitrates the, their disputes he helps them to sell their rice on the best terms even after death the people continue to worship him as a god because of his traditional values and the last theme is nature's power so the story also highlights the power of nature especially the power of tsunamis the tsunami that strikes the village is described as a white horror of sea that destroys everything in its path so the story emphasizes the unpredictability of nature and the importance of being prepared for natural disaster so the story ends with a conversation between the narrator and the japanese philosopher discussing the villagers believe about the soul and the spirit of hamaguchi so as a sign of reverence the villagers build a temple for hamaguchi and continue to pray f- to his spirit for help in times of trouble so i hope the story is clear please do continue to watch my video this like share and subscribe to my ch- channel press the bell icon so that as i update my channel with new insights you may get the notification thank you for watching my channel